Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from Visalia, where Robert Van Steinwick from the UC Cooperative Extension addressed growers on the walnut husk fly, which has become an increasing problem throughout the San Joaquin Valley for walnut growers. Walnut husk fly has become a more important pest here in the southern San Joaquin. Before, it was basically a northern San Joaquin coastal pest. And, uh, over the last uh, five, ten years, it has become a more significant pest up and down the state. Husfly um, has early infestations. Those that occur, let's say, in June will cause nut shrivel, uh, cause increased mold in the nuts, uh, and stale shell staining. Uh, infestations later in the year will cause more shell staining and not the mold or shrivel. Um, it's been estimated that you lose about a third of the value of an infested nut. Um, so it has real economic impacts. Now, if the nut is going for in-shell sale to, let's say, Germany to be exported, uh, then those nuts cannot be bleached and cannot be sold in shell. So then you have to shell it, and that you lose a great deal of value. So it is an economic pest. Maybe not to the same extent that calling off or naval watch one might be, but it is probably it used to be the third major pest of walnuts. Maybe it's sneaking up a little bit more nowadays. The uh, main control that we're and basically the only control of walnut husk fly is a combination of a bait spray with an insecticide. Um, there is not good biologic control of this pest. It is univoltine, which means it has one generation a year. Therefore, the few parasites, parasites or parasitoids that attack it really can't build up. So it's really not a, uh, um, uh, a pest that we can use integrated pest management on. Um, and so we basically rely to bait sprays. Um, and um, in the old days, usually one or two, and down here, none. Uh, and now as some growers, particularly in Northern California, are up to five sprays per season. So it's becoming a bigger pest all up and down the state, particularly uh, in Northern California. We're changing the spray time. We, um, the old method um, 20, 30 years ago was to wait till you catch the first flies then there will be a surge of flies, and two weeks later, you put on your first spray. And then you spray every three weeks. Uh, we're, uh, then we move to when gravid females appear to start your first spray. Well, now we're moving back more to earlier sprays because it looks like the baits are more effective on younger flies. So um, basically, we're waiting. The, the, the new control techniques is to uh, catch your first fly, then um, uh, get ready to spray. Probably within about two weeks, you start your first insecticide application. And then the number of insecticide applications after that depends upon your population. Uh, you can go every three weeks or four weeks, more on a calendar-based um, spray schedule. Thanks, Robert. Let's monitor early for this fly and stay on top of our pest control program this year to ensure a successful crop. Read more about managing this pest in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, the authoritative voice of the nut industry. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.